In this video, I built 100 Gorilla Tag cosmetics out of Lego. I built many different hats, holdables, badges, and face items. So make sure you stick till the end so you can see every single one of them. And let's start off with number one. So we can go ahead and start off with the party hat. For the party hat, I just used the Lego party hat piece because I think it just works best. And this is how the party hat looks on a gorilla. Next up, we got the banana hat. This one I've built with a few of these yellow teeth pieces, just going back and forth. And then with the cone, and then this stud with the little bar coming out of the top. And that is how I did the banana hat. Next up we got the cowboy hat, this one's very simple, I just used the Lego minifigure cowboy hat. Now we got the chef hat. I just used this one by one cylinder piece, along with the Lego chef hat piece. The sun hat only uses two pieces, we got this blue dish piece, along with this blue piece as well. The coconut hat is very simple, I just used one of these in this light brown color. For the fez hat, I used this fez piece, along with a black stud on top. For the black gorilla tag hat, I simply just used a stud along with this Lego movie, which I think represents the hat well. The silver cowboy hat is simply achieved with just this gray cowboy hat piece. The Santa hat is just the Santa hat piece, and that is how all of those hats look on the gorillas. Next up we got the mushroom hat, which is simply achieved with this cylinder piece along with some white studs on top. We've got the Russian hat that has um, a much more intricate design. Here's the rainy day hat, which just has a little cylinder with a stud and then this kind of arc piece. We've got all three of these beanies here, which all have very similar builds. The seagull hat simply achieved with just a Lego seagull piece. The pink hat is just this round jumper with a round stud on top. The clown hair is just a bunch of round plates stacked up with a round jumper at the top along with a round stud. Top hat is just a black stud with the Lego top hat piece on it. And that is how those look on different gorillas. The crown is very similar build to the beanies. The blue flower hat is just a two x two plate with these one x two slopes going all around. And then finally this blue cone on top. The present hat is very complex, but it looks something like this. The cat ears is simply just this one x two rounded plate with two black cheese wedges on the ends. The straw hat is this jumper piece with a blue stud and this one by one printed tile. For the headphones, I just used a pair of headphones. And then the gold mask is pretty much just a gorilla head completely covered in gold pieces. And this is how all of those turned out. Next up we got the witch hat, which is simply achieved just with the Lego witch hat piece. And then for our final hat, we got the jack-o'-lantern, which is, again, just the Lego jack-o'-lantern piece. And here they are, yes, I know the jack-o'-lantern looks a little goofy, but hey, it works. Starting off our face cosmetics, we got my paintball mask, where we start off with this piece here. Get a jumper in dark gray, a plate in white, and then three of these rounded stud things, two in blue and one in gray. We can then build the same thing, but in green, for the green paint brawl mask. The clown nose is simply just this one by one tile. The wolf snout is just this gray cylinder piece with a black stud on top. The surgical mask can just be this one by two tile in blue. For the cookie jar, we can just use this clear cylinder piece with a clear stud on top. The gas mask is just this rounded plate along with two of these each with a yellow stud on them, and then you can just put those in the holes. Sunglasses are simply just two one by one round plates. And that's how all of those look on monkeys. Next up we got the nerd glasses, but just these round studs with this little piece at the bottom. The googly eyes are just some Lego eyes. We can do the Santa beard with this slope piece. The rosy cheeks are achievable by just taking some studs along with some sticky tack. We can do any of the cave's eyes, just using these glowing round tiles. The butterfly can just be this butterfly piece. And then for our 45th and final face cosmetic, these are the triangle glasses with simply these just little quarter circle tiles. And that is how all those face cosmetics look on the monkeys. For the turkey leg, I just got the Lego turkey leg piece. For the GT3 cake, I just used these two plates stacked on top of each other. For the rubber ducky, I just used the Lego ducky piece. For the flamethrower, I just used this cylinder piece along with this hose piece on top, and then just a stud and clip 
on the side. The Lego Frog Holdable is just a little Lego frog. For the Four Leaf Clover um, cosmetic, I used this clip piece here, along with this flowering stud, and that makes the clover. For the blue popsicle, I just used the blue popsicle piece. For any slingshot, you can just use this slingshot piece. For the giant bunny holdables from the Easter update, you can just use the Lego teddy bear bunny piece. For the hot spicy pepper, you can just use this red unicorn horn, along with this green stud um, that looks like the flower. For the bows, you can just use the standard bow piece, but specifically for the spider bow, you can use this purple one. For the monkey skull, you can just use a Lego skull piece. The stick can be made in a couple ways, but I find it best just to use this kind of sprout piece in brown. For the shark holdable, I like to just use this silver fish. For the caves flute, I just take this 1x2 purple plate and take a 1x2 purple tile and stack it on top. For the GT2 cupcake, you can just take this tan stud along with this pink ice cream piece. I think that works out really well. The bubble gun can be built using this gun piece, a yellow stud with a hole in it, and you can just put that on the handle. Take a one by one blue brick, and then finally a one by one stud in light gray. The cheese cosmetic can just simply be achieved with the cheese wedge. For the icicle cosmetic, I just use this blue unicorn horn. For the paper airplane, I just use this quarter circle tile piece. To build the golden rose, you can just take this little sprout piece in green, along with a gold stud that has a hole in it. This is how I build Baby Jimmy, also known as the makeshift plush. I'm not going to show you how to build him here, but if you want to see how to build him, comment down below and I might make a short on it. For the coffee cup, we can just use the coffee cup piece. Pan holdable is just a Lego pan. For the cherry blossom branch, you can just take this brown rod, two of these one by one clips and two of these flowering pink studs. And then you can take those and put them on the side of the stick. And then there is your cherry blossom branch. The fire launcher, I just take this telescope piece, these three different colored studs in that order. You can put the stud on the bottom of the cylinder and then put the these studs on the top. And then finally take the telescope piece and put it right there. For the unicorn, you can just use this stick in tan. This brick with studs on all sides. Put the stick inside of the brick. You're gonna take two eyeballs, put them on either side. Then take the unicorn horn piece and put it on the top. Put a one by one purple tile on the back. Then get a purple cylinder right there on the nose and then a white stud as well. And then that's how you can build the unicorn. This is how I build the pencil. It is another complex build, so comment down below if you want a short on it. The yellow flag, you can just take this gray stick and then this yellow flag piece. For the red guitar, you can use either of these red guitar pieces. I personally prefer this one, but I do know it's less common. For the black umbrella, we can just use the black umbrella. For the gold umbrella, again, we can just use the gold umbrella piece. For the ray gun, we can use this black gun piece with this cylinder on the end. And then finally, this gray Technic pin at the bottom of the cylinder piece. For the pitchfork, I like to use this kind of like Poseidon staff piece because I think it works best. For the snow shovel, I use this jumper. I also use this brown rod with these two dark red um, studs on it on the end and they both have holes in them and then that can go in the jumper. I then take a 1x4 brick in red and put that on the end of the stick and then just a 1x4 plate with some slopes on top to finish off the build. Now we're going to do a few balloons. So I like to use this piece right here for the strings of the balloons. And then for the heart balloon, I just take these two 2x3 two plates with these like rounded edges. And you can actually just put these together and it makes like a little heart. And then we can go ahead and attach the string to the back. For the blue balloon, we're going to use that same string piece. And then this 2x2 two two plate, you're going to take a 1x1 one one blue plate and put it right there. And then you gotta take a two by two blue tile, put your um, string right there on the corner, and then you can actually attach these together just like that to make the blue balloon. For the donut balloon, you take that same string piece. You then wanna take two of these two by two round pieces, one in tan, one in brown, stack them up, and then you can go ahead and put your string on the back. For the fire extinguisher, 
You can take this red cylinder along with this um, nozzle piece. The ice staff can be achieved with this stud, a rod, a white rod, a stud with a hole in it about right there. You can then put that on that first blue stud. Then take a translucent blue cylinder and put it on the stud that you put on before. Get one of these stud pieces with a little bar coming out and put that on top. And then just a two by two plate there on the very end. For the backpack, you can just take this two by two gray plate along with this two by two kind of dark blue tile. For the penguin, you can take this one by one plate in orange, a black headlight brick, a white one by one tile, one of these orangish yellowish one by one plate with this little like pointy thing sticking out. And then finally another one by one tile, this time in black. For the hot dog holdable, you can just use the Lego hot dog. And for our final holdable, we got the leaf shuriken, which is just this one by one stud. Um, that's flowering. For badges, we're gonna start off with the GT1 badge, which I just used this one by one plate for. For the GT2 badge, I just use this one by two red tile. And of course, for the GT3 badge, I just use this one by two pink tile. The heart badge can be accomplished with just the Lego one by one heart piece. For the science badge, I just use this one by one stud, but there's something special about this. You'd know if you saw some of my previous videos, it actually glows in the dark. For the winter paw badge, I actually just used this ender pearl piece because I think it works really well. For the snowflake badge, this one actually works really well because it's a literal Lego snowflake. This is my build for the drum set. Of course, this one's too complicated to show right now, but I think it actually looks really nice. For the leaf ninja badge, I just used these two little leaf pieces along with this two by two slope, which I think looks really nice. For the 100th cosmetic, we got the finger painter badge. So you're gonna start off with this L-shaped piece, put a red stud on the left, a blue stud on the right. Now these can be tiles or actual studs. You're gonna take one of these one by two kind of rounded pieces and put it on one of these little holes there, just like that. Now this is kind of illegal, but you're gonna take a stud and put it on that middle stud there. It doesn't fully clip down, but it's the way I found it best to make the finger painter badge. And that was it guys, I built 100 Gorilla Tag Cosmetics out of Lego. I don't really know how I do a part 2 to this, because I've already made so many and so many of the most iconic ones. But I'll tell you what guys, if this video gets 10,000 views, I'll do a part 2. I highly doubt it will, but if it does, I will do a part 2. I hope you guys did enjoy, and if there was any cosmetics you think that I missed, Comment down below, and if there's ever a part two, I'll do my best to build them. As always, guys, I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not already, it is very much appreciated if you do like and subscribe. And if you want to see some more LEGO Gorilla Tag videos, or if you want to check out my Gorilla Tag YouTube channel, you can click on one of the links in the end screen now.